you're going to be cold, you're going to be away from home, you're going to be seasick, you're going to, you might lose your fingers, get injured. Some trips you may not even get paid if you have a bad trip. It's probably the only job, one of the few jobs where you can actually go and like lose money on fuel and expenses and things like that. I think you have a greater appreciation for what fishermen go through when you when you go to sea and what you see what they do. So it's not easy. It's not a life that is for everybody. It's very rare that you just get someone who's in their 30s just thinks, oh, I'm going to be a fisherman. It's usually in your family and your blood. It's the nature of fishermen. They go out and they've got a hard job and they, they're kind of the hunters in a way. They just go out and and hunt for fish and, and catch it, bring it ashore. You've got to remember that they have been at sea for some of them have been away for a week. So when they come in, they're tired and they just want to get home and see their families. It's the most dangerous peacetime occupation there is. So I think there's the highest sort of fatality rate of any occupation other than armed forces. Another thing that kind of amazes me about this place, they're such hard people that it's just like, I think death is part of fishing, or injury and death is just part of it. And while they're sad, the next day they're all back to sea and just getting on with things. There's no like dwelling on it. I suppose you can't really. My family's been farming for four generations. I work on the farm with my dad and my granddad, and they've also done it all their life. And as a teenager, I uh, did jobs on the farm, worked on the farm, and now I, now I do it full time. So the potatoes get planted in about April time, May time, depending on the weather. Uh, then they grow all the way through till September, October time in which we harvest them. I don't think a lot of people realise the amount of hard work and time that goes into growing potatoes and the weather's normally against you. I've been farming all my life and I love what I do, it's, uh, I've got a passion for it. And I love, I love the satisfaction of the end product when, the, when you see the potatoes go to the pubs and restaurants and other things like that, it's just nothing better. We sell the potatoes to local fish and chip shops, restaurants and pubs. As the Woodman's Arms is our uh, neighbours, we, we supply potatoes to them and it's, it's ideal. The staff at the Woodman's are great, I've uh, called in myself to try the fish and chips out. And, I wasn't disappointed. <laughs> so the Woodman's Arms, me and my business partner, uh, we purchased it back in August 2017 and then obviously spent some money refurbishing it, bringing new staff in and just giving it a completely different uh, concept to what it was before. The whole sort of ethos is based on loving with product, loving with staff, loving the environment that everybody's in and just making sure that when the moment somebody walks through the door, they get that we love basically what we do. Sourcing local products for us is obviously massively important. Um, we're out in the countryside here, so we're surrounded by local producers because obviously it's putting back into the community. Um, a lot of people that we buy from actually come back and dine with us. Because fish and chips, it's such a simple dish, but it's such a simple dish to get wrong. So when you get it right, and people know you've got it right. It's like, it's our most popular dish now. Just fresh, obviously, fresh cod, trimmed properly, um, nice butter. Obviously, there's loads of different variables when you're making your butter, so it's just whatever works best for you. The Fish and Chip Award for us is just absolutely massive. As a new business, you sort of, you're going into the unknown, you don't really know what it's about um, or what it can do for your business. But then as soon as you enter into that competition, and you do well from it. Um, it just changes your business overnight. The amount of knowledge and sort of insight they have, and they share it with you. You know, the the, the more than happy to share it with you, and it allows you to improve because the the right reports they tell you where you're going wrong and where where they think that you're going right. And we've done that, you know. So from our report in 2018, we've completely took that under our wing and, and made changes, hopefully for the better. So this time round in 2019. We want to go that step further, we don't want to finish in the top three, we want to win it. I just find it absolutely insane that these people are risking their lives just so that we can sit down and eat fish and chips. We just want to make sure that the passion the farmers and the fishermen have put in at the start of the process 
that we just finished that off at the very end and the dish is amazing and it tastes amazing. We want to make sure that we do the whole process justice and you're happy when you're sitting down eating that fish and chips.